This tutorial explains the nuts and bolts of working with lights and shadows in Live Interior 3D. What we are looking at are the preferences of the program. In the 3D Settings tab with the 3D Quality parameters, there are two different shadow rendering techniques. Stencil shadows, which give you solid firm shadows, and shadow maps, which give you soft shadows and faster rendering. You can also indicate how many lights cast shadows. The number refers to lights that are closest to you. Choosing a smaller number makes rendering and work in the program much faster, but you should definitely select Unlimited before exporting movies or screenshots. Let's go to the main window to adjust our lighting. The first thing I want to draw attention to is that there are three rendering modes. Lights and Shadows, Lights Only, and No Lights or Shadows, which is the fastest. For this tutorial, we'll stay in the Lights and Shadows mode. You can view and control all of the lights of the project in the Lights Properties tab of the Inspector. To turn any light unit on or off, just find it in the list and click on the bulb. Take note that any changes here are automatically shown in the 3D view. Now when a light unit is selected, its properties are shown in the bottom section of this Inspector tab. You can control the light intensity using the luminosity slider. The color icon to the right allows you to change the color of the light. If a light unit has multiple light sources, such as more than one bulb, each one can be controlled separately. In Live Interior 3D, the external lighting and geo orientation can be controlled. You have the ability to turn the sun and moon on or off. Set a standard daytime or use the environment dialog to set a custom daytime and adjust the geo orientation to get a better feel for how the lights and shadows will look in your home. That's almost it, but just one small tip before we wrap things up. You can disable the casting shadows of any object for special effects or any other reason by deselecting the cast shadow checkbox. Also make sure to take a look at the light source editor that is available in the Pro Edition of Live Interior 3D. With this, you can add a light source to custom objects and adjust its parameters, but this will be covered in a separate tutorial. Well, that's about it for lights and shadows.